Edge finders are popular because they're easy to use and very accurate. We're actually going to wait for the tip to kick out here. That lets us know that we're half the tool diameter away from the part. If you have a DRO, we're simply going to repeat the process on the other side and then divide by two. If you don't have a DRO, we're going to travel all one direction to avoid backlash. So you find the parts diameter, divide it by two, and then half the tool diameter. Here we have an indicator mounted in the spindle. This is actually the most accurate way I've ever found for finding the true center of a part. This method can be even more accurate than a Renishaw probe. You have direct feedback and with a tenth indicator, you have a fine resolution to really dial things in. This old school method of using paper as a slip is a bit dodgy for obvious reasons. I know, I know, calm down, we're hanging on from over a foot away. Wetting paper and sticking it fast is also common, and this isn't a terrible method if you don't have access to an edge finder, but honestly, edge finders are a couple bucks, just get one. And here we have the ever popular, for all the wrong reasons, spinning the tool in reverse. Here's a unique edge finder that doesn't require the spindle to be rotating. And the always popular method of balancing a scale until it's parallel with your table. A gauge block or a pin could also be used, but that can be tricky against the flutes of an end mill.